Hello everyone, so you're shopping for a wireless mechanical keyboard that is not full size. In this video, I'm gonna show you a comparison between two of the best wireless mechanical keyboards on the market today. These two keyboards are from Royal Clutch. On my right, I have the Royal Clutch RK96, so this is a 96 keys keyboard. And on my left, I have the Royal Clutch RK84, which is 84 keys keyboard. After viewing my video, you'll be able to determine what keyboard is more suitable for your needs by seeing the difference between these keyboards and their ergonomics. Let me start first by showing you what is common in the packages of these keyboards. So this is the RK96 and this is the RK84. Both keyboards come with the USB-A to USB-C connector. Both keyboards come also with this like tweezer to pull the keys and the actuators. And also both keyboards come with four spare keys. Both keyboards also come with a 2.4 gigahertz receiver. And both keyboards come with a very easy to read user manual. Let me show you now what is different between the two packages. The RK96 comes with this wrist rest that is really very ergonomic. And the RK84 doesn't have a wrist rest, but it comes with these two razors. So you put them on the back, they are magnetic. You put them like this and they stick on the back and this way you can raise the keyboard this doesn't mean that the RK96 doesn't have like erasers on the back it has two levels which is also better than the RK84 so this is the first level the highest level and inside the highest level you have a smaller level that you can also put on the keyboard now for the mechanical keys of these two keyboards they feel almost the same the RK96 comes with the yellow switch and the RK84 comes with a brown switch. So these are the keyboards that I have. But you can get both keyboards and many other switches and these switches can be changed. To change the switches, it is the same for both keyboards. So I'm going to show you on one of the keyboards. Let me show you on the RK84 how to change the switch. And it is exactly the same procedure on the RK96. So you get the switch puller here and you open it and just put it on any switch you want to remove like this and pull it up it is removed very easily and this is the switch you can also remove it so with the other end also with the puller put it like this on the switch and then squeeze it and then remove it and it is hot pluggable for both keyboards so this is the switch removed here and it is very easy to re-put in its place just make sure the pins are in the correct position so that you don't bend them and then put it in, push it in, and then push in the key. So this is how you change the keys on each keyboard. Now also both keyboards have three modes of connections. So we talked about the USB-A to USB-C connection, and both keyboards have on the back a USB hub that is very convenient, and this hub naturally works only when the keyboard is physically connected to the PC. Now also each keyboards have two other modes of connections on top of the physical connection. So both keyboards can be put in Bluetooth mode and both keyboards also have a wireless 2.4 gigahertz connection that you can use. And this is really very good. Now also what is common in these keyboards is that they are both RGB keyboards. So I'm gonna turn them on. I'm gonna dim the light so that you can see the RGB lighting on these keyboards. So let me turn them on. And here's the light dim. And both keyboards, to control their RGB, they have functions on the keyboard. And both keyboards have a software that is compatible with each one of them. So you install the software. And if you connect the RK84 or the RK96 physically to your PC, it will work. So let me show you quickly here how to change the lighting. So function home, it will change the lighting. See here how it changes the lighting. And on this one, you need to press function print screen and function Dell also it will change the lighting and it has many other also options for the lighting that you can see in the software or in the user manual it is really very easy to read now the main difference between the two keyboards is the keys so this one has 96 keys and this one has 84 keys and the main difference is that this one has a numeric keypad here and it also has a volume knob and this is really really very important i like this very much it has also a mute button and this one also has a like a media function but you need to use the function key plus the keys here to operate the media and also the rk96 you can use it with the function 
and the keys here to operate the media instead of using the knob but i mean if you have the knob you're gonna use it it is really very ergonomic and apart from that and if you really need a small keyboard the rk84 is smaller than the rk96 which is natural because it has less keys now if you want to talk the comfort of each keyboard both keyboards are really very very well made and if you type on the keyboard you feel that it is not hard to type and they are tactile and the feeling is really very good when you type on these keyboards now on top of the key differences also the major difference is that the rk96 comes with this magnetic wrist rest which is really very ergonomic so you just put it here and it sticks to the keyboard and if you type like too much on the keyboard this magnetic wrist rest really makes a difference what I also wanted to mention is that both keyboards have an internal rechargeable high capacity battery that will permit you to use the keyboards for days without recharging them. I hope that my video helped you in your decision to choose one or the other keyboards. You cannot go wrong with any of these two keyboards, the RK96 or the RK84. They are both really very good keyboards from Royal Clutch. I want to thank you all for watching and see you in the next video. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech.